this is the 5.4 recording if uh, there's a lot there's a lot of formulas required for this section uh, it's column it's about the shapes and the lateral area and the volume okay if uh, we'll go one by one and I'll write down the formulas for each one uh, if a right cone has a height of 12 and a radius of 5 what's the lateral area this is the first formula the lateral area of a cone is pi r l l like this l is actually the slant height the slant height is found by using pythagoras theorem so when you would have a cone like this okay this is actually the height we'd call this h uh, h the slant height is this l over here so think of it like this this is a pythagoras triangle the height here is let's say 12 in this question the radius is 5 can you find l yes you can 12 squared plus 5 squared and radical you'd get l equals 13. so in this case let me redraw it it's a circle this is the cone the height is 12 the, the radius is 5 can you find this l l is going to be 13. so we found l but we want the lateral area the lateral area is pi r l uh, they want it in terms of pi for just cancel pi uh, r is 5 l is 13. you get 65. question two uh, the right cone has a height of 15 centimeters and the radius of its base uh, is equal to 8 centimeters then the lateral area of this cone is equal to same thing it's a cone lateral area pi r l we need to find our gl if it's a cone same thing the height is 15 the radius is 8 for how do we find this it's 15 squared plus 8 squared under a radical which is 17 then we do pi r l they want it in terms of pi for cancel pi with pi r is 8 l is 17 and you get 136 uh yes correct question three two cylinders have the same height the radius of one is 10 times the other one what's the volume of the bigger cylinder how much times bigger is it it's going to be 100 the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h so we have two cylinders yeah the big cylinder is 10 times has a radius 10 times smaller uh, 10 times bigger than the small one for the big cylinder will be pi times 10 r squared times the height because the radius is 10 times bigger if i uh, if i just plug in 10 r into the radius for square 10 what will be it will be 100 100 times r squared whatever i h times pi but what my point is you're squaring the 10 why because it's pi r squared you're squaring the radius okay you're squaring the radius for so squaring 10 but it's 100 times bigger for a new formula volume of cylinder equals pi r squared h question four the mass of water in a cylindrical can has a the can the cylinder has height 12 and radius 8 uh, they want the mass of the water it's k grams k pi grams how do you find the mass they're saying that one centimeter cube is one gram but yeah it's basically asking you to find the volume how do you find the volume it's pi r squared h yeah for volume equals pi r squared h for pi times r squared h squared times 12 they want it in terms of pi for cancel pi with pi 8 squared times 12 is 768 question 5 what's the lateral area of a regular square pyramid whose slant height is 10 and the height of its base uh, or the length of its base is 6 look and I, I like I like understanding them okay this is the square pyramid uh egg 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 lateral area that means add the area of this plus the area of this face the area of this face and the area of this face the area of this it's a triangle 
right? It has a base, which is this, the, the length of the base, which is 8. And they said the height is 10. Okay, what's the area of this triangle? Base times height over 2, so 10 times 8 over 2, which is 40. How many of these triangles do you have? Uh, wait, and did I mix up? 10 times 8, uh, 6. I don't know why I put 8. Uh, I'm actually drunk. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, 6, not 8. Uh, so 10 times 6 over 2, that's 30. Uh, 30, not 36. Whoa. So you get 30. And how many faces of this squared of this triangle do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, right? For 30 times 4 equals 120. For that's why it's the same as saying 4 times, uh, you could say B R, uh, so B L over 2. I think also that's the formula over here on Google. Uh, lateral area of square pyramid. It's whoa. four times, yeah, f uh, half a L. Uh, they call it a, uh, yeah. So two a L. Oh, yeah, two a L would make sense. Yeah, two a L would make sense. If, uh, it's four times the area of each triangle, which is a L over two. A is the length of the side of the base. Because this is the area of each triangle. We have four triangles for four times this, which is the same cancel to over four. It's the same as saying 2AL. Okay, you could say 2AL, the lateral area is 2AL. Okay, side of base and length, uh, so side of base and the height. Okay, uh, whatever, whatever you want. This, you could say 2AL, or you could say half the perimeter times the height. Okay. Uh, that's what I saw in the notes, uh, half the perimeter times the height, and it works here. Uh, whatever you want, lateral area equals lateral area of square pyramid equals 2 AL. A is a side of base, L is lateral height, slant height, I think. Or you could say it also is half the perimeter times the height, whatever you want. Okay. Question six. What's the volume of a regular square pyramid whose height is 15? The length of the side is 8. The volume of any square pyramid, the volume of pyramid equals 1 over 3 pi r squared. H. Okay, so 1 over 3 times, uh, do you want this in terms of pi? Why did I say pi? <laughs> ah, that's a problem. Its volume of the pyramid is equal to machas of pi, 1 over 3. Oh, why was I saying radius really also if it's a pyramid? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, 1 over 3 times Area of the base times the height uh, of the uh, side squared. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, by base, yeah, times uh, times base squared times height. I think sixty-four times. Four. Yeah. Uh, there's remember there was many formulas for. Yeah, there was many formulas for this in the book. They say actually, they say one over three. Capital B H. Capital B means area of the base. Okay, since look, it's a square pyramid. Like this, yeah? The base, if it's 8 here, the area of it is side squared. That's why you can say B squared. Or you can just say B, and you can just know that B is 8 times 8 and 8 squared, which is 64. For volume of a pyramid, it's 1 over 3, 64 times. 15 which is 320 so volume of a pyramid 1 over 3 times 
area of the base or I'll just say b squared times h uh, what is the radius of a cylinder whose height is 9 over pi and volume is 234 okay volume equals pi r squared h if pi r squared h equals 324 how much is the r okay let's substitute pi times r squared we're trying to find the radius times the height which is 9 over pi equals 324 cancel pi with pi okay then divide by 9 over here you'll get r squared equals 36 you get r equals 6 because radical radical you get r equals 6 question 8 what is the lateral area of a right circular cylinder okay lateral area uh, i'll put it beside cylinder because i'm still talking about cylinder lateral area of cylinder is 2 pi 2 pi r h so 2 pi r h so in this case what's the lateral area of a right circular cylinder whose height is 10 uh, and radius 9 lateral area equals 2 pi r h for 2 times pi times r which is 9 times h which is 10 over pi cancel pi with pi 2 times 9 times 10 it's 180 that's it for 5.4 thank you so much is it yeah thank you so much for watching and good luck